Hey there, I got another moment with Mr. Quilter. I got to thinking about how I was telling you that you have to use grid paper, you have to use isometric grid paper, how you, I don't want you using notebook paper anymore. And uh, I thought, you know, that might be kind of hard or it might send the wrong message that you have to go out and buy grid paper or buy isometric paper. And I don't want you to have to do that. Um, that's not in any way what I'm saying. So what I did is I figured out something with Google Slides for how I can make a master copy with this that you can draw on. And the cool thing is now you have this grid right here. I can go ahead and draw whatever shape I need. Here's a little line. And then I can extend that line even longer. I can turn it. I can do whatever I need to do with it. I can label it. I can, I can make it what I need to, to make copies of it, rotate, reflect, translate all those different pieces. Cool thing about this. Uh, let's make this just a little bit thicker. Let's go ahead and add a line of reflection. We're just going to add that line right here down the middle. And then I want to reflect this image. Across the plane. So what I can do with this image is I can double click on it, or excuse me, I can take the the figure and I can slide it over here, and I can go ahead and I can rotate that figure 180 degrees. Oops, excuse me. So it looks like, however I need to, in this case, rotate it 90 degrees, and I can set it in there, and I see a reflection of the two figures. I can do the same thing on isometric paper. My favorite tool here is actually the polyline because we use a lot of, of shapes. So let's say, Mr. Quilter, I can't really see it. So we just go and we up the size here. And I go ahead and click on here. And let's say I want to use a triangle. I'm going to go ahead and click and drag to my point wherever my triangle is going to be. I let go and it continues to be there. I let go, come back to the beginning, and I have a nice perfect triangle. Let's go ahead and get rid of that background color, make it transparent, and let's make those lines a little bit better. And let's say I'm supposed to do a reflection across a line of reflection. So let's go ahead and draw a line. But let's say, you know, Mr. Quilter, I want you to be able to see this nice pretty line. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that. I'm gonna go and draw a line here, whoops, through the middle. Oh goodness, sorry, I forgot I have to hang on to that. And here's my line of reflection, but let's make that line of reflection. Let's go ahead and make that one black. Let's come back to this image right here. Let's copy that and paste it. And the cool thing about this one is I have some other options with this figure is I can just take this figure and I can move it to wherever it is based on the translation. But we talked about how I want this to be a reflection. So the question is, how am I going to reflect that image and flip it the other direction so that it's actually the way that I want it to be. And remember, it's not, and here I'm saying flip, not reflect, because in our buttons here, I went to format the image and it says flip horizontally or flip vertically or rotate under those 90 degree values or whatever my angle is. Um, this is reflection. So I reflect my image, I drag it to where it needs to be. And I have a beautiful reflection of my figure that I can go ahead and do a screen capture of, and then I can submit it. Don't forget to do your labels. Labeling comes with text boxes, or you can simply just get a freehand scribble. And I can say that this is figure A. Whoops, I forgot you can't lift it up. And then over here, this one would be figure A prime. You get the idea. But I hope this is helpful. Please, again, you don't have to go out and buy a whole bunch of graph paper or grid paper. Let's do this digitally. Let's do beautiful pictures and let's save our parents some money. Uh, I hope this is helpful for you. Let me know what kind of questions you have, what kind of issues you run into. I will post this on Google Classroom as a resource. Feel free to make a copy of this file or just open it up and use it whenever you need to. Um, as always, don't you dare give up. Have a great day.